geacht. Ik zie dat mijn webpuntfilter nog aan staat. Had ik een filter voor CSI? Die had ik. Ik vind het zo leuk om deze dingen te maken. Maar goed. Even kijken, we gaan verder met CSI. En we waren op zoek naar Kill the Rhythm, die ineens verdwenen was na de Barrel Murder, zoals ik het graag wil noemen. Tijd voor Lida's Swenson. Waar waren we? Ik was nog niet echt. Ik ben eigenlijk een beetje verdwaald. Wat kan ik doen voor je? Treads match, huh? Good enough for me. Go. Dr. Wilkinson, I'm Catherine Willows, CSI. We're picking up on the previous investigation. I need to ask you a few questions. I thought you people were holding Lita Callisto for Sophia's murder. We are, sir. And we're sorry for the trouble we've caused you. Oh, well, that makes it all better, does it? You throw my life into turmoil and you tarnish my professional reputation. Why wouldn't I be thrilled to help you people out any way I can? Dr. Wilkinson, we have reason to believe Lita Callisto has committed other crimes, perhaps other murders, and we do need your cooperation. Well, all right. Anything to help keep that lunatic female locked away. Being torn various new gaping bloody orifices by my wife, thanks to you people. Still in my garage, isn't it? Do you need to look at it? I'll walk you back there. Anything is better than staying in the path of my wife's tongue. Thank you. Well, what? Honestly, it was here. I believe him. You had no idea it was missing? If I'd known, I'd have reported it stolen. Okay. Lita. Crazy damn. Yes. Yes, she could have. She must have come back for it again. Thank you, Dr. Wilkinson. We do appreciate your cooperation. We'll take it from here. Hier, of is dat gewoon olie? Carrie who? Maybe you're thinking of Karen. Karen Yardstrom. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. It's your IQ. How would that be possible? Gil Grissom is so brilliant. One of the top CSIs in the nation. Surely a mere slip of a thing like myself couldn't trap him using a few bugs as bait and reel him in. Not a big fish like Gilman. Ooh. I hate you. That's all I have for you right now. That's all I have for you right now. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. That's all I have for you right now. That's all I have for you right now. Er moet hier toch wel ergens bewijs te vinden zijn. That's all I know. Wish I could help more.
That's all I have for you right now. I have nothing more to say to you. Not much left here. Wonder if there's anything it can still tell us. We can't use that here. Date and page number are still visible. Maybe we can locate the original article. Huh? Hey guys, what's up? I find it a bit naar hoe ze Greg de personality van Hodgins hebben gegeven. And the date and page number are visible. You'll need to do a Lexus search for the article. Thank you. Oh, now this is something. Subject of the original article, Sophia Benedetti. Charged with possession of controlled substances a few years back, but we found no record on her before. Hmm. Okay. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. I have nothing more to say to you. That's all I know. Wish I could help more. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. Yes? Hey, you can't scan that into the computer. Hey, you can't scan that into the computer. You can't put that under the microscope. You can't put that under the microscope. I missed it. Try using a similar tool. We can't use that here. 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 Try using a similar tool. We can't use that here. We can't use that here. We can't use that here. There's no prints here. There's no prints here. There's nothing special there. There's nothing.
We can't use that here. Try using a similar tool. Try using a similar tool. We can't use that here. There's nothing special there. We can't use that here. Casino chips. Didn't Sophia have a couple of these stuffed in her mouth? Hey guys, what's up? Casino chips. Nothing special about them. Mm. Hey, you can't scan that into the computer. Okay. Uh, I have nothing more to say to you. That's all I have for you right now. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. Broken spine indicates a favorite passage, or at least a stopping point, by the reader. It's a passage about the Greek tradition of burying loved ones with a silver coin in the mouth. Payment for the ferryman. Hear that before? Yeah, you can it. We can't use that here. 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 We can't use that here.
We can't use that here. There's no prince here. We can't use that 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 here. There's no prince here. There's nothing special there. There's nothing special there. more to say to you. What can I do for you? All you have is that suicide note on hotel stationery. Sorry, that's just too thin. What I can do is let you look at some of the evidence from the Yardstrom and Benedetti cases. Here's the murder weapon, the ligature. Maybe there's something more to learn. Aphis came up blank on these partials from the medicine bottle in Kylie's apartment. Here's the casino chips we found in Sophia's mouth. That Greek money angle may make them significant. Thank you. Here's the money we found in Kylie's mouth. Too many overlapping prints for us to get anything useful. Mm. That's enough to get you started anyway. Build a stronger link to Lita, and I'll get that hotel reopened for you. Thank you. Yes? The ligature has traces of that same cream from Lita's apartment, calcium gluconate gel with heavy aloe vera. That cream was not over the counter, it was homemade. This may get us back into that hotel. These chips match the type he turned up at Lita's crib. I ran a bunch of different tests, didn't come up with anything. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. A cream similar to a stain in Lita's apartment was found on the murder ligature. Interesting, but not a direct enough link between Lita and Kylie to reopen that case. You can't scan that into the computer. Sorry, can't do anything with that. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. That's all I have for you right now. I have nothing more to say to you. That's all I have for you right now. What do you need? Hey, you can't scan that into the computer. Hey, you can't scan that into the computer.
We can't use that here. There's no prince here. There's no prince here. We can't use that here. We can't use that here. There's nothing special there. There's nothing special there. There's nothing special there. There's nothing special there. That's all I know. Wish I could help more. There's no prince here. Hallelujah! Set of prints. Old album like this. Could have been here a while. The fingerprints on the medicine bottle match the ones on the photo album, so Lita dispensed these meds to Kylie before giving her fingertips the acid treatment. Good news 
is we got a complete set of prints on the photo album. Bad news is no hits on the APHIS database. What can I do for you? Prints on Lita's photo album match those on Kylie's medicine bottle, and Lita's medicinal cream is on the murder weapon. Yeah, that'll fly. I know a judge who'll give us the warrant we need. Mm. Back again. More trouble? Or you want info on my weekend package? This is my first time to your lovely establishment. Catherine Willow's criminalist, Vegas Crime Lab. Well, it's not the first time for your partner there. By sport, we kind of bonded. When I was getting pelted with questions about that Kylie brought getting bumped. Yes, well, that's very touching. Yeah. Love it. Check out the fire escape. A Juliet could let a lot of Romeos in that way. It's also a great peeping Tom perch. Could somebody have seen what went down in this room? Someone hanging out on the fire escape, then entering the room, might have put their hands down right here. Hmm. There's no prints here. We can't use that here. There's no prints here. Hmm. Tiny smudge mark. Let's take a sample. Ik zeg dat het uh, aloe vera medicine is. Wat is dit? Een recurrent nightmare? Read mijn lips. Only person I saw was Kylie. She stuck with the same room. It was the guys that was always different. This some kind of joke? One of them hidden camera shows? Look, I told you everything I know already. Now, if you don't mind. Fine. nothing more for you at the moment all right let's see if there's anything that was overlooked sorry let's try her computer let's look at these appointments in terms of the evidence we've already gathered there's a Murphy here Lita's maiden name Bernard Murphy we need to check it let's take a printout Sorry, my bad. Popular calcium gluconate and aloe vera mix. Which puts Lita on the fire escape at some point and also puts her in the hotel room via that entry. Obviously, Lita and Kylie are acquainted. Lita learns Kylie's going to the hotel, to her favorite room, which Lita stakes out from the fire escape landing. Lita waits for the couple to finish their fun. She doesn't even bother with gloves. Look, Ma, no fingertips. Devin exits. Kylie heads into the bathroom. Lita climbs in, tears the cloth, getting some of that custom hand cream on it in the process. Kylie comes out of the bathroom. Her friend Lita jumps her, wraps the ligature around her neck, and strangles her onto the bed. Call him. 
With Kylie dead, Lita stages the scene, tying up the corpse, blindfolding her, leaving the way she got in. Fire escape. That's how it could have happened. But why did it happen? What's Lita's motive? No match. But all that means is that Bernard Murphy didn't have a criminal record. Yes? I'll give it a shot. Well, Bernard Murphy worked at the Washu County Crime Lab some years back. Mm. Let's bring his file and see. Dismissed a few years ago for breaking evidentiary collection procedures. Whoa, his dismissal involved... Guess who was called as a procedural expert at Murphy's disciplinary hearing? Gil Grissom. I can see if there's any record of him. Holy. Bernard Murphy committed suicide last week. Dus dat is het motief. Lida wil revenge. I'll send out an APB right now. Maybe somebody will spot it and it'll lead us to Gill. What a triumph for you to have figured that out. And it only took you forever. I hate you too. Well, isn't that obvious? Considering present company, because of the incompetence of this place and its subpar staff. From what we hear, it was your father's incompetence that got him dismissed. My father was a brilliant man, a dedicated, underappreciated investigator who misguidedly gave his life to this job. And look at the competence of his peers. Sad. It's just sad. Really. Then what was the real reason for his dismissal? Politics, corruption, the well-connected Mr. Benedetti. He wanted his daughter to walk, so he paid some of Vegas' finest to tamper with the evidence. Got the case thrown out. In the process, my father was framed into taking the fall. I can assure you this department would thoroughly look into such a thing. Your precious Grissom was there. Did he look into it? He has no feel, no feelings for the human species. We're less than bugs to him, literally. And no one wanted to stand up to Benedetti. That left my father to take the blame. Dus we hebben een motief in elk geval. My father was everything to me. The only one who understood me. The only person on this earth I was ever close to. And now he's gone. Forever. Job well done, CSI. He took his own life. And it was not over the job he lost, but the woman he lost. If the people around him here at CSI had stood up for him, given him the benefit of the doubt, he wouldn't be driven into the arms of that showgirl slut. He'd be alive today showing all of you how to do this job. I lost my father because Benedetti's daughter was a crack addict and Papa was covering up for baby. My father took the fall for that poor little rich junkie. And that's why you killed her? I don't remember saying I killed her. I will point out that the scales of justice have achieved a certain ironic balance. I lost my father. Benedetti lost his daughter. Mm -hmm. Karma. Thanks to that APB on Wilkinson's truck, a patrol officer spotted a vehicle of that description heading into a U Keep self storage lot. That's several hundred storage rooms, and I can only get a warrant for one specific room. <laughs> I'm ahead of you on this one. Grissom believed the evidence might have been tampered with and went on record as to Murphy's possible innocence. But the mayor at that time buried Grissom's report, most likely due to the Benedetti family's influence. Mm -hmm. I can give the company a call. They do have a locker registered to that key number, but it might just be a coincidence. It's unit 417. Let's hope your theory is correct. Dat zorgt ervoor dat Lida naar de locker room kan. Gates locked. 
can't force entry without a warrant, so we have to find a link between Lita and these lockers, and fast. We can try the key we found in Lita's apartment. If it's a locker key, maybe it'll also open the front gate. Ta-da! Maar dat klopt er nog iets niet, want als de auto naar de storage room is gebracht terwijl zij in custody zat, dan moet er of iemand anders zijn, of er moet een handlanger zijn. There it is, over there, unit 417. This could be it, let's try the key on it. Worms. It's jammed. Hey. Hey, I'm in here. Grissom. Did you hear that? There's someone inside. It's got to be Grissom. Let's find something to pry the door open with. What? Come on. <laughs> um. Dat... There's nothing special there. Maar dat geeft je toch het recht om binnen te komen. We can't use that here. This might be good to get some leverage on the door. <laughs> we'll still need something else from around here to use this with. We can't use that here. We can use this as a fulcrum. Let's take it. <laughs> Evidence. We can use these to pry the door open now. Mensen, ik weet dat er in Nederland een wet is die zegt dat als je hulp geroep wordt, dat de politie dan mag binnenkomen. Omdat er mensen in een levensbedreigende situatie kan zitten. Catherine. Gil, we're here. Everything's all right. Lida. The, uh, the Benedetti case. Murphy was fired because... I know, Gil. For once, I'm way ahead of you. You saved my life. I had help. Our newbie here came through big time. <laughs> sure did. I think, uh, maybe we can declare your probation period over. Well, you could say we worked the bugs out. And now we'll be going to the hospital, Mr. Grissom. We're going to check you out like the walking crime scene you are. Hell yeah. It's time for your evaluation. I've spoken to your fellow CSIs. Sarah, Nick, Warwick, Catherine all give you high marks. Greg and Doc Robbins are also impressed. Devin Rogers is a free man now, cleared of any involvement in the Kylie Yardstrom killing. As for me, well, let's say I'm glad you were on the Callisto case. Yes, Jim. Yes. Really? I'll be right there. It never ends. Good work. Only a few things you left unexamined. Try to be more thorough next time. Yes. Now you've finished all the cases, but there's one more set of bonus material if you can go back and complete them all with 100%. Ik denk dat dat iets is wat ik zelf ga doen. Maar goed, dat was uh, CSI. Leuk spel. Ja, echt. Um, ik denk... Ja, ik ga heel eventjes op pauze. Want... Ik heb nog...